Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how you can connect your X account or Twitter account inside Pabli Connect. So a lot of users are facing issue while connecting their X account with Pabli Connect after the updated integration. So in this video, we are going to show you the step-by-step -step guide at how you can connect it. So as you can see, I have created an automation workflow inside Pabli Connect. And in this workflow, you can see we have a trigger step of Webbook by Pabli where I have captured the webbook response of a tweet content. So this is just a test response just for an example. And after setting this up, we will just directly move to the action step. And here in action step in choose app, we are going to search for X. So we just have to select the action application as X formerly Twitter. After selecting our action application, in action event from the dropdown, select the action event as create tweet. You can select any other action event of your choice. Then we will just click on connect and select add new connection. So here we have to connect our X account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with X button. As you click on it, this pop-up box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us two different things. First one is the client ID and second one is client secret. Now you must be thinking how you can get this client ID and client secret. So below that, you can see this help text which says, Please read the documentation here to know how to create a client ID client secret. So we have this learn more button. It's an hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. At this page, you will find the step-by-step -step guide on connecting your Twitter account, your X account with Pabli Connect. So as per this guide, first what we have to do, we have to create a Twitter or X developer account and you will get the link of the developer page as well. Just open this link in a new tab and it will take you here. Now here what you have to do, you just have to create the Twitter developer account. I have already created my account. So I'll just sign in and go to the developer portal. After setting up your account, it will basically ask us that why you want to access the Twitter API. So in the documentation itself, we have given you the use case reference. So you can just take the use case reference from here and enter any reference in this window, which you will be getting when you will sign up for X developer platform for the first time. After this, you will get access to the developer platform. So you will be on the dashboard like this. Now here on the dashboard, we have to create an app. So to create an app, just click on this add app button. And then we have to give this app a unique name. So let's say I name my app as Pabli Connect Video. So this is the name of my app. You can basically give any other name as per your choice. I'll just click on next. And after clicking on next, it is going to ask us or it is going to give us the key and the token. So this is the API key, API secret key and the bearer token. So what we have done, we have basically logged into the X developer portal. And after logging in, we have created an app over here, basically given this app a name. Now, after creating this app, we have to set up this app as well. And here, as per this help text, what we have to do, we have to go to the projects and app section, and then we will start the setup process. So from the left sidebar on the developer portal, we will go to projects and app. And here you can see this app, which we have created just now can be seen. Just click on this app, just select it. After selecting the app, we will scroll down and click on this setup button. After coming to the setup page, the first thing it asks us is the app permission. By default, the app permission is read, but here we have to select read and write and direct message. Then after that, we will scroll down and then it is asking us type of app. So here we have to select web app, automated app or bot. So you will get all of these details, all of these things in the documentation as well. So if you want, you can refer to this documentation too. After selecting the type of the app, it is asking us some app info. And in the app info, the website URL and the callback URI or the redirect URL is important. So in the documentation itself, you will get the callback URL which you have to enter. So you have to enter this exact same callback URL or callback URI over here in this app info section. And here under website URL, you can enter your own website. So I'll just enter my own website or Pabli's website over here. And after entering the website URL and callback URI, here it is asking us some organization details. So all of these details are not mandatory. All of these details are optional. So if you want, you can enter the details or you can just ignore these things for now. And after that, just click on save. As you click on save, it is asking us for the pop-up for changing the permission, just select yes. And as we select yes, here you can see, we have successfully created or configured the app on Twitter's or X developer portal. And after this, you can see the client ID and client secret, which we require to connect this account, our X account with Pabli Connect. 
Just copy the client ID from here. Now after that, just go back to a public and workflow. And here in this pop-up window, just paste the client ID. Then after that, we will copy the client secret as well and paste it over here and click on save. And now as we click on save here, you can see a pop-up window will appear in front of us. We will just scroll down and click on this authorize app button. And as we click on authorize app, we will see our X account will get connected with Pavly Connect. Now after making the connection, let me tell you that you can just store this client ID and client secret somewhere safe for reference. So if you want to use the same credential to connect your Twitter account with other platforms or with Pavly Connect in other workflows, either you can use the existing connection or you can just keep these things safe. So just store it safe, just click on done and click on this yes, I saved it when you save it once. Now after this, we'll get back to our Pavly Connect workflow and we'll just try to test this connection. So here in the message section, we have received a tweet, a demo tweet or tweet content from the trigger step from webhook response. So I'm just going to map the response of the tweet content from trigger. And then after that, if you want, you can enter the code tweet ID or direct message deep link as per your choice. But both of these things are not mandatory. So after mapping the tweet, actually the tweet content, just click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that our X account is now successfully connected with Pavly Connect. And using this connection, we have posted this tweet on our X account. So let's check it. I will just go to my X account and refresh my profile page once. And yes, here you can see this is the test response. Just now, 24 seconds ago, this tweet has been posted from my X account. This means the connection between our X account and Public Connect is working perfectly fine. So this was the step-by-step -step guide on how you can connect your X account inside Public Connect and generate the client ID and client secret under X developer platform. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavly Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavly. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.